your teachers don't necessarily explain everything to you. They just tell you this is what you should know, and then you have to go home and figure it out yourself. <laughs> Which brings up a very good question. Given where you are right now in professional school, if you had a program like this when you were in the 6th, 7th, and 8th grade, what would have changed for you at this stage in your life if you had had this kind of training when you were 6th, 7th, and 8th grade? I think for me, if I would have had something like this, it's just knowing that you know all of us sat in your, your spot and that us, us sitting up here, if we've been in your spot, you know, us sitting up here, you all can be up here one day, you know, just having that motivation to know that every one of you sitting in this class can go on, if it's medical school, dental school, or whatever your your goal is, you know, you can do it. Don't set ceilings on yourself, just push through any barriers and know that whatever you want to do, you can do it. What well, obstacles well, did you guys have to overcome to get to your goal? So, um, obstacles, obstacles. So, one of the things, um, and I think Randy Parr said it in uh, his last lecture speech, if you all have not seen that, definitely take a look at it. It's a wonderful thing. But uh, he said, you know, obstacles are one of those things that are set in our life to show us pretty much whether or not we really desire our goals. All right. So, yeah, as far as obstacles, um, all right, got through undergrad. Uh, some classes were easier than others. Chemical processing principles is a mean class, y'all. Organic chemistry can be mean. Um, master's degree, trying to write a thesis while studying for the MCAT, that's mean. All right, uh, having to take the MCAT over because the MCAT score that you first got wasn't high enough, okay? It's mean. And the way medical school works out is, the application cycle takes a whole year, so if you ain't ready for it at that uh, opening, that means you have to wait out a whole another year before it opens up again. So that's another obstacle. Um, yeah, it's just obstacles are obstacles. Um, just making sure that uh, despite the obstacles, though, that you know you still have enough grit and enough, um, I guess, thick skin to keep progressing forward. Uh, because realize life isn't linear. Gonna have some ups and downs, right? Right? Yeah. Right. Okay. And I know that uh, in, middle school, in middle school, you might not see it right now, but just realize that you should be able to leave with the punches versus just dropping every time they're going at you. Okay? I'll, I'll, I'll throw it back like closer to y'all's age, like when I was in middle school going into high school, like. The thing I cared about most was playing basketball. Like I love, I love playing. I played all through high school and whatnot. And um, I really wanted to play in college, but around like I wanted so much, but like I didn't have a plan, and I didn't really set myself up for success. I just, I just played, you know. And so I realized around. 11th grade or whatnot that man like I need to like work on my fundamentals I need to actually work on my game I can't just go play pickup every day or whatnot and by that time y'all might know like people who are getting recruited like they get looked at early and so by the time I really started working on like my game and really setting a goal for myself I was already like nearing 12th grade and so I put so much I, I put so much work into it and kept working on my game and like really trying to understand the process of how to get better and whatnot. And then to realize that it was basically too late, I was like, that was one of the points of my life where I was like, I'm never gonna let my lack of planning and my lack of like exploring and finding out what I need to do stop me from being successful. And so you can say you want to be something as much as you want. Like you can say it every day, like, I want to be an NBA player, or I want to be a doctor, or I want to be a dentist. But those those aren't always the people who get to that level. It's 
it's the people who are saying, I want to be this. This is how I get to it. This is my map. Those are the people who have a plan and like a, you know, some type of scheme where they can say, all right, this is my checklist. Have I done this yet? Have I reached this milestone? When I looked at that in 12th grade, people started saying, you know, has he gone to the, you know, has he done these tournaments? Does he have like this stat line? Have you been to these camps? Have you done this? And looking at it, you know, and seeing my dreams kind of, that dream at least fade away right there, I was like, whoa, like, kind of hurt, you know? So after that happened to me, I really sat down and made sure that whatever I wanted to do, I was going to do it and I was going to find a way to make it work rather than just saying, yo, I want to do this, I want to do this. So that was probably my biggest obstacle. And my, the, the biggest thing that kind of like woke me up. Mm -hmm. I think we'll take one more question like Jordan you know you, you've got to have your time management I'll admit to this when I played football in college that's all I really did play football academics kind of happened you know honestly I was a guy showing up for tests that I didn't even know we had tests that day because I hadn't studied I didn't know what was going on but I could tell you who we played on Saturday and I can tell you you know those kind of things but it 100% can be done you know you go to you know class in the morning practice in the afternoon study at night, you just have to have your set times when you do things. So yeah, it, it can definitely, definitely be done. I think I'm gonna piggyback on that one because I don't like, I played sports all through high school and um, college and uh, I was the one that studied before <laughs> test. <laughs> so it definitely, it all boils down to time management. Like you have a schedule, you know when your classes are, you know when your practices and your games are, and you know what times you have in between and you just have to feed off of those times. And then the good part about it is if you're, if you're playing team sports, your teammates are also students. So we made study groups. If we had a tournament the entire weekend, we had a separate hotel room that was for people studying for tests that they had when we got back to school. So it's it's all boils down to time management, but um, like Joe said, it definitely, definitely can be done. Okay? Um, I didn't get good grades in middle school, um, but once I got to high school, I really took high school seriously. In middle school, I didn't as much. Once I got to high school, I was like, this means business, like all my grades, they're gonna, people are going to see it on my transcript, and my high school GPA is going to count, so I didn't always take good grades, but starting high school, I was like, I'm not gonna go hang out with my friends tonight because I have to finish this book report. So there were sacrifices that were made. But I just did this very much as well. <laughs> it's never too late to do that. I think we've all had a point in which we didn't do so hot at some stage in school and there's always an opportunity to do better in the next class that you have coming up and show whoever you're trying to show that you can learn the material, you can get good grades. So if you're struggling a little bit now, there's high school, there's college, there are things you can do after college to say, all right, my grades aren't so hot, but let me show you what I can do. All right, so I think our moral of the story here is, I know you guys are just in middle school and we're about 18 years of school ahead of you, but we've been where you are, we've all had our struggles, we've all had our outcomes, but we never let it get us down, we decided this is what we wanted to do, and you just do anything to get there. All right? We were so happy to have you guys say, can we give a round of applause to our family?